the scientific advice was, was as, as we, I think, both said, that not that the virus could be stopped, but that its, its spread and uh, serious incidents could only be managed. That, therefore, being the case, Lord Sedwell, why, at this date, on the 28th of February, were not levels of alarm raised higher than they were? They should have been. Right. Was it, as some witnesses have suggested, just that elements of the government just believed it wasn't going to happen, that there was optimism bias? That is a, a, a fair point. I think it's hard looking back to recall quite how extraordinary were the measures we later took. They were unconscionable at the time. Uh, and, uh, and therefore, I think your point about this instinctive human reaction is true. I think it's also the case. So I'm probably going too fast. I'll, I apologize. Um, um, I keep trying to remember to slow down. Um, it's, it, I think it was also the case at the end of February, the number of cases in the UK was, on the data available, still very small. I think 19 on the 28th, although I believe it was actually about four times that, but at the time they believed that. And so one, one can understand how non-experts, not familiar with exponential movement, might have misunderstood the pace at which the disease was moving. Did you speak to the Prime Minister directly in the first week of March about the level, the necessary level of alarm that was required to be raised, about how serious this problem was? Uh, I don't recall um, any specific discussion, but, I, but there were meetings in the first week of March. I, would, I was certainly in those meetings with the Prime Minister, and so we would have discussed uh, all of that. I, can't, I couldn't tell you exactly what comment I might have made. I would normally leave that to Chief Medical Officer, Chief Scientific Advisor to set that out, but I might well have done so. In terms of his general response, evidence has been received by the inquiry to the effect that he, he said, he, or he expressed the view that he didn't think it was a big deal. He, he wasn't sure anything could be done. It, it might be like swine flu. Regardless of the individual words purportedly used, what was the general tenor of his reaction? Um, I think that He's an optimistic person. I think that optimism bias you mentioned a moment ago probably did reflect his overall stance at that point. 